Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hey, how are you, Patricia? I'm fine. Are you ready for your English class? Yes, I'm ready. Oh, all right, excellent. And how are you today? Um, fine. It, I am very busy today. Really? Why? Because it's my uh, I this my day is the um very stressful. Really? <laughs> yeah. Because it's Valentine's Day tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow. Are you going to do something special? Uh, yeah. But um, I uh, you teacher uh, today is my last day of vacation. My oh. uh, it's my um no, uh, I start my vacation. Oh, now. nice! So cool. <laughs> Yes. That's very good. And what are you going to do? Are you going to the beach? No, I go to the um, uh, uh, I have a um, I don't know how do you say it, a flight. Oh, where are you going? Miami. I uh, know, Colorado. Colorado. Nah, Colorado's nice. It's a little hot. Yeah, but in this moment it's cold. Oh, okay. Cool. And are you going by yourself or with your family? No, only one my, uh, with my with my brother. Oh, okay. So you're not gonna be alone. Yes. That's good. That's real good. All right, uh, let's get started. We're going to be looking at the first section, which is coming from section number 4.11. Okay. Are you on the platform right now? Yes. All right. By the end of this last session, you will learn to ask and answer questions with how. Al final de esta sesión, aprenderán a hacer preguntas con qué tan y a dar respuestas. Okay. Video questions with how. Listen, please. Hi again. There are many questions we can ask with how. This time we'll ask questions related to distance, measurement, descriptions and conditions. As soon as we listen to the explanation, we'll ask you some questions. Get ready. Questions with how. How far is New Zealand from Australia? It's about 2,000 kilometers, 1,200 miles. How big is Singapore? It's 648 square kilometers, 250 square miles. How high is Mount Cook? It's 3,740 meters high, 12,250 feet. How deep is the Grand Canyon? It's about 1,900 meters deep, 6,250 feet. How long is the Mississippi River? It's about 5,970 kilometers long, 3,710 miles. How hot is Auckland in the summer? It gets up to about 23 degrees Celsius, 74 degrees Fahrenheit. How cold is it in the winter? It goes down to about 10 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. We will use how to ask different types of questions. We will use how this way. How plus adjective plus verb plus complement plus question mark. Let's go back to the chart. Notice how and right after it we have far. Far is an adjective. How big 
big is an adjective and because we use adjectives we must use the verb be properly conjugated how long is the Mississippi River how is the question word long is the adjective is is the verb be in singular Mississippi River is the complement ready to answer here we go how big is your country how tall are you which one is the longest river in your country how long is it as we always ask you to do please write your responses in our discussion box all right at this moment do you have any questions no okay so you're going to write at least Please 10 Fahrenheit. examples I want you to give me 10 examples using how far, how big, how high, how deep, how long, how hot, how cold. 10 examples, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So you can write three more. And their answers here, and I want you to share it here in the discussion forum. You have 10 minutes, 10 okay. minutes, starting right now.
Are you finished? Or do you need more time? I need more time. How much Please. time do you need? Maybe three, three minutes. Three minutes. All right. Yes. Uh, Rebecca, Gilberto, are you doing the activity too? We are working from pay exercise number 4.12. Well, uh, great yeah. questions with who? That's right. Uh, writing questions here on this section with how far, how big, how high, how deep, how long, how hot, how cold. Okay, teacher. I work it. All right. Right here in the discussion mm -hmm. forum. You have... Five more minutes. Five more minutes.
All right, all right. Is everybody finished? Yes, teacher, because I am and I have a problem. My my screen is closed. What happened? My um screen. Mm -hmm. Um is closed. Oh, okay. You need more time? Um no, um I continue. Okay, let's look at the next one, which is coming from section 4.13. 4.13, knowledge check. Instructions, write the questions to these answers. Remember to use how. Instrucciones. Escriba las preguntas para las siguientes respuestas. Recuerde usar qué tan. We will do the first one together. Angels Falls in 973 meters. 3,212 feet high. So what is the question? How How high high is Angels Falls? Like that. You will do two, three, and four. You have five minutes. Okay.
Is everybody finished? I'm the last one. The last one? Okay. All right, please read number two for me. Uh, Patricia, number two. Or Rebecca, number two. How big is California? Very good. How big is California? Number three, Rebecca. Um, how long? Is the no, ese no me dio bien el resultado. <laughs> okay, eh, sería how long is the Nile? Is the Nile ah, okay? Uh, number four, Gilberto. Okay. Uh, how how hot is Washington DC in the summer? Excellent. How hot is Washington DC in the summer? All right, guys. Now we're gonna look at the following one. Five point oh. Can I take a message? In this session, you will listen to a conversation between two people making plans. Future with present continuous and be going to are introduced. In esta clase, escucharán una conversación entre dos personas haciendo planes. El futuro con el presente continuo y el estar yendo serán presentados por primera vez. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Hi, ready to start? This demo study future tense. Please pay attention to the conversation we're about to play. As you listen to it, try to identify the two ways to express a future plan. Remember, you may listen to the conversation as many times as you need to. Making plans. Part A. Listen and practice. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Hi, ready to start? This demo study future tense. Please pay attention to the conversation we're about to play. As you listen to it, try to identify the two ways to express a future plan. Remember, you may listen to the conversation as many times as you need to. Making plans. Part A. Listen and practice. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. All right, at this moment, do you have any questions about the vocabulary or pronunciation of these words? No, teacher. Questions about the vocabulary? Pronunciation or meaning? No. Okay. So let's go around six. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. All right. So what we're going to do for this when? activity I'd is we're going to work on the platform right here at the bottom 
and I want you to write a similar conversation between a man, a man and a woman inviting each other to go out. Okay. You have 10 minutes on the platform. You can work in pairs.
Does anybody have any questions? No. All right.
All right, all right. Is everybody finished? Yes, teacher. All right, let's continue. We're going to go ahead and move on to section 5.2, lesson objective. By the end of this session, you will have learned how to use future with the present continuous and be going to. Al final de esta clase, habrán aprendido cómo usar el uso del futuro con el presente continuo en el estar yendo. So this is for future tenses. Like if you're planning something, uh, go to the university, go on a trip to another country, change jobs, change houses. Uh, these are things that you plan. Okay. Hi. So are you ready to talk about future plans? Good for you. I want you to take notes as you listen to the audio program and don't go as well as stay and explain the use of future with present continuous and the use of future with be going to. Page 101. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Future with present continuous and be going to. With present continuous. What are you doing tonight? I'm going to a soccer match. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. Be going to plus verb. What is she going to do tomorrow? She's going to work until 5. Are they going to go bowling? Yes, they are. As you could see, we have two possible ways to express future. We may use present continuous as well as be going to to talk about it. It is important to know that we may use present continuous and be going to when we plan actions in the future. Also, when we're certain that something is going to happen in the future. We want you to know as well that when we predict, we do not use present continuous. Instead, we use be going to. Read the examples with me. Be going to to make predictions. Watch out, you're going to break the glass. It's so cloudy, I think it's going to rain. Now let's go over the form of present continuous. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is, plus verb, plus ing. Examples, she's watching a movie. They're going to the concert. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and the verb plus ing. This is the form when using be going to. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is, plus going to, plus infinitive verb. Examples, I am going to play handball. He's going to cook. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and going to. And when you want to ask a friend or a relative about their plans, you may do so by asking using a WH question word like this. WH question word, plus be, plus subject, plus verb, plus ing, plus complement and question mark. Where are you celebrating your graduation? What is he doing tonight? Remember, your WH question word will depend on what you want to know. Or you may ask like this, WH question word, plus be, plus subject, plus going to, plus infinitive verb, plus complement and question mark. Where are you going to celebrate your graduation? What is he going to do tonight? Either question is correct. Now that you have listened to the audio program and the explanation, we want you to go over and learn these time expressions. This will help you to give more information when giving an answer. Time expressions. Tonight. Tomorrow, on Friday, this weekend, next week. Can you share with us what you're going to do this weekend? Write your plans in our discussion box. All right, so right here, what you're going to do is you're going to write 10 sentences about your future plans. You can speak about what are your plans for the next vacation, maybe two activities 
Uh, what is your plan? What are your plans for next weekend? Maybe three activities. Uh, what are your plans for tomorrow, Valentine's Day? Like that. Okay. You have four minutes. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, time's up, time's up. Did you finish? Yes, teacher. No, teacher. All right, if you did not finish, that's gonna be your homework. If you finished, you can continue working on the platform and advance. 
All right, guys, have a good weekend. Have a good Valentine's Day. Enjoy. And we see you Monday. Good night. Good night. See good night. you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <clears throat>